Welcome folks, it's another episode of the SAK Show, probably brought to you by Mac Coffee on Zindagi TV. And today I've got two sisters, when you look at them you'll say, hey, you know, can they really dance? But trust me, they're great, amazing hip hoppers, uh, choreographers, and they've got an amazing event coming up very, very soon. We'll talk to Thoral and Dulari now. Thoral and Dulari, welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you so much Thank for having you. us. So you are Dulari and you are Thoral, right? Thoral, okay, yes. Okay, uh, tell us about yourself. So I'm Thoral mm -hmm. and I'm the elder one, of course. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm a professional dance and a dancer and a teacher. Nice. Yes. Uh, I'm Dulari. Yeah. I'm also a professional dancer and yeah. now a teacher following Thoral's footsteps. Okay, so it's like whatever the elder one does, the elder one has to do. <laughs> we, we, we try, try, yeah. <laughs> try to catch up. <laughs> yeah. So tell me, uh, dancing and you teach dancing also. So both of you yes. teach dancing. Yes. yes. Ah, nice. Let's talk about dancing. How did dancing come about? I mean, who, are your parents into dancing? No, not Is at it all. In the family? <laughs> not at all. I uh -huh. think we love music. My yes. my dad loves music. But apart from that, I think the dancing gene just happened by me, through me. Uh -huh. I just all of a sudden I realized we love dancing and yeah. um, I got a lot of family support of course. Okay. And then we slowly turned my my hobby turned into a profession. Nice. So did you go for like training and uh did you take up classes? How, how yes. did all this happen? Tell us your journey. So basically, we loved dancing from a very young age. And um, we I, I got a bit of training from Kamini Band oh, for Bharat nice, Natyam. Nice. So my first love is obviously Bharat Natyam and yeah. I love semi-classical. Okay. Uh, apparently, I wasn't. it was unfortunate that I couldn't finish my Bharat Natyam to the Arangetram course. Okay. But yeah, that's where dancing happened to me. Okay. And so Dulari actually had the, had the... Yeah, I had the opportunity to finish. You're the lucky one. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, all right. <laughs> yes. So I finished my Arangatram back in 2015, mm -hmm. and then since then I've been fully, fully with Toral, oh, nice. <laughs> trying to build our school. So tell me, is that is that what you do throughout full time? Is that your profession? Yes. Is yes, that what dance. you do for a living? Dancing? We actually, yes, yes. It, and it just started as a small hobby, but yeah. now dancing is our profession. Uh -huh. And we do that as full time. Uh -huh. And uh, apart from where we started as Bharat Natyam, we have explored quite much of other dance styles such as hip hop, contemporary, we've got salsa, we've got wow. lyrical. I can imagine you guys doing all that. <laughs> and, and so it's, what's your dancing school called? So we're known as Sahas Dance. Sahas, okay, what, what does that mean? Sahas means courage. Courage. And why we named our school that is because when we started, dancing wasn't much into it. I mean, till now, people ask us, okay, what else do you do? Yeah. <laughs> they don't yeah. think that it's Dance. our full time. Yeah, even job. I'm like, you know, surviving uh, in these difficult times through dancing. Exactly. Yes. Wow. Yes. I mean, exactly. we need to learn this uh, tra <laughs> trade secrets from you. Now. Yes, yes. <laughs> Thank you. So you teach Thank what? You. Uh, any age group or you have a specific sect and how does it work? So basically we teach all ages from yeah. the age of three and a half actually all the way 60 plus we've got a wow. few uh, 80s even wow. as long as you love dancing and you're happy to come to our classes we'll teach you. Wow. <laughs> so what's the process? Just call you and say that's it? Uh, well get in touch with us of course get mm -hmm. in touch with us. <laughs> and, and if a guy <laughs> cannot dance at all you know somebody like the guy was behind the camera right now. You know? <laughs> I feel like Prabhu, as yeah? Prabhu Deva how, said, how like anyone, anyone, anyone can, can dance. dance. Yeah. Anyone can dance. No, but t tell me, uh, you know, you must have had some crazy experiences as dance teachers and some hilarious ones, <laughs> and some challenging ones. I'm sure the viewers would <laughs> yes. love to hear about that. Oh, I yes. feel like the challenging ones, everybody always thinks it's the little kids. Mm -hmm. I feel like the most challenging one has to be the elder ones. The, the elder ones. <laughs> the the elder ones. stiff ones. The st <laughs> yes. You know, not, not really stiff, but I feel like kids kids come to us as they enjoy it, yeah. as as when you are They tend older. to follow you. You don't yeah. have to explain them why you're doing certain things. Yeah. They'll, yeah. You say jump and they'll jump. Yeah. <laughs> but then we have the elder ones where they you know, need to be very explanatory on what you're doing and why you're doing. So yeah. that explanation kind of, you know, Deters. Keeps a, yeah, deters yeah. in the whole yeah. teaching yeah. us yeah. Really, so. Wow. Yeah. It's a bit okay. difficult. <laughs> wow, that's interesting. And uh, how many students do you have so far? Pardon? So, we started off yeah. with 
three. Well, three. she started off with three. Yeah, three you were one of them. Oh, I was one of them. I was one of them. <laughs> yeah. We used to pick and drop all three because yeah. we were all from our compound. Okay. Yeah, thank God. Yeah. Told all my nice. neighbors. Thank Char- you. Char- charity does we can yeah, at home. At home. <laughs> then we've now successfully grown into 250. Wow, nice. Yes, yes. So there, are, there is a big scope for dance in Kenya, that means. Very big, very big. We Kenyans love dance. We Kenyans love music. And yeah. I think uh, the industry... Yeah. As for especially in the past 3 to 4 years grown. It yeah, it's grown. just really, really grown and we are so thankful for that because the bigger the market the bigger people appreciate yeah. dance itself yeah, yeah. I mean when we started you know you could hardly have anybody else teach dance you know yeah. we just had a few people yeah. but now yeah. if you see there's so many youngsters teaching dance and that's yeah. a very good thing i think because yeah. that gives people an interaction and improvement to the industry itself you see wow so it's a growing industry yes and it's music so you can't go wrong right definitely <laughs> so part of your growth you know i mean you are like okay was it like a plan okay you know what was your plan tell tell us about that when you started sahas <laughs> what was behind that brain and said okay you know what i'm going to do this i've got the support of my little sister and we are going to kill it together well the plan was from the beginning when we started actually you know when we started i didn't know that we could have classes for dance okay but then as i started and then the passion grew we we made a small plan of 7 years and then within those 7 years we wanted to have a small school whereby mm. we could give you different styles so you've been on from 7 years so seven far 7 years wow. we've completed 9 years nice. and thank god in 7 so, years yes we were somewhere near a school not yeah, the, but yeah. at least i now can say that we do offer something more apart from just bollywood dancing yeah, so we're yeah. getting where we headed where we wanted to always head So tell us I mean uh, so far almost 9 9 years hitting yes. your 10 years very soon yes. what what I'm what kind of challenges have you faced Why don't you say <laughs> <laughs> Okay so the challenges in the beginning especially like the first few years was yeah. just acceptance from the community and I think Nairobi social itself yeah, yeah. because Socially. I think yeah. dancing as a profession was like a shock you know yeah. people would not yeah, take it yeah, seriously yeah, yeah. they would like yeah. dancing seriously yeah, exactly. apart from dancing what else do you yeah. do and you yeah, know yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but then I feel like if you really really are passionate about it yeah. the challenges don't seem much yeah. as challenges just yeah. like a little bit of hurdle here a little bit of hurdle there yeah. but it's fine <laughs> but, but you know being a you know Asian women yes. getting into dance and you know how old school our mentality is yes. sometimes you know In Be- that some way, people have not changed till now. Yes, yes. Uh, tell us more. I'm sure that must be challenging as well. Definitely. But I feel that they they were definitely. There are so many people who come to our face back then mm-hmm. who would come and say like what are you doing with your life, you yeah, know? And yeah. then we would always feel sad and go home talk to our parents about it. Yeah. The main thing both of us agree till our yes, yes, yes. <laughs> dying <laughs> breath is that without our parents yeah. without they supported you yeah, yeah. yeah. because yeah. there was a point i mean dulari left pharmacy mm. <laughs> she just did wow. a semester i finished i was on my way to doing my masters degree yeah. in hr yeah. i finished till bachelors and then i said daddy i'm just going to get into dancing wow. so that was like a big shock and then and your parents supported you throughout yeah very yeah. much from the beginning in fact yeah. when i said daddy i think i'll do a job and my dad is like sweetie you know None of us do jobs in our family. <laughs> Why don't you do Stick what you to like? Dancing, no? <laughs> that's yeah. nice. I mean, shout out to the parents, you know. That's that's the way parents should be, you know. Yes. Support your kids whatever they want to do. <laughs> Let them chase their dream. Talk about dreams. The next project is really really cool. We'll talk about it right after this break. Mac Coffee Cappuccino di Torino. Coffee with Italian character. So Toral and Dolari, I mean, <laughs> the next step after teaching you know you've done it all you're like you yes. followed your dream you followed your passion and i think events is another big thing which is happening yes and you know musicals have becoming uh, popular in kenya very you very know, people yes. are just working on it coming with creative ideas influences from bollywood and all that that's brilliant uh, fame yes <laughs> how did fame come about So well fame happened to us so you know from the very beginning mm-hmm. all the musicals or shows that we do we always wanted to make it very practical with the society yeah. in the current situations okay so and you want to your first or second musical No actually fame is our fifth, fifth? musical wow. yeah tell us about the first four ones so the the <laughs> first one was actually in way back in 2013 okay and it was a small show mm-hmm. my first one with 67 students to be precise wow and it was called uh, aja natle aja natle and it was just a dance show something with all the popular classics of bollywood mm-hmm. and it was 
it was a house full show we were very happy with it and we got a tremendous amount of support yeah. and encouragement and then after there was no looking back no oh, so you like let's do the second one then yeah and then the second one happened was uh, devdas devdas yeah Ooh. and devdas was yes yeah, that is something now we started trying to venture ourselves because okay. again you see we so don't come musical and drama together or yeah so what okay. happened is we showed the whole devdas story through musical through dance nice. form okay. yeah and this was something that we were venturing into new waters now because from you know we don't come from a dancing or any background of mm. as such so for us was uh, always a learning experiment yeah, yeah, yes yeah. and then from uh, there we went to uh, sahas itself we launched sahas and then after that we happened to um, fame after another show and we came to fame so fame is now some uh, sorry apart from fame we had once upon once a time as well time. Mm. yeah that was like a big huge step by us because we were trying to completely get into mm, deep yeah, waters yeah, now okay. experimenting a lot of stuff we yeah. went to glow in the dark and new styles of dancing and i felt like once upon a time was a huge huge step from our side mm. and it was taken so well by the nairobi audience and that we we had two full houses we mm. had two shows only yeah. So two years later, okay. here we are doing fame <laughs> with four shows. Four shows. Wow, nice, nice. <laughs> yeah. So, so, how is each show different from the other? I think it's the it's the story mm -hmm. that we take and it's the approach we take. Because the first three shows, we weren't even very serious into marketing ourselves. Because you know we were enough. We mm -hmm. had good students with good clientele as it is. and then later the industry grew and uh, as we grew there was competition mm. and with that we had to make sure that the quality of our shows were improved and then we had to invest more into yeah. you know what we give the overall exposure yeah. to our students so you do your own production yourself or yes. you've got a production company who does everything for you no we do it saha stands yeah we produce direct choreograph uh, yes. everything nice exactly. nice so and so coming back to fame now tell us yes. more about fame what is fame all about when it's happening mm -hmm. what to expect from it so fame is happening on the 7th and 8th of march okay we are having four shows nice on both the days it's at 2 pm uh -huh. and 6 pm what's the venue At, it's at Osho Center Auditorium, Osho Center, right yes. around yeah. the corner. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, so we are having 250 plus dancers. Wow. We are having 250 over. 250 dancers. Oh yes. Oh Whoa. yes. We are going okay. all in. We're going to break that stage. <laughs> <laughs> And we are also having over 500 costumes. Wow. All flown from India. Wow. Yes. We are having almost 80 plus Bollywood tracks. And how long is this going to be for? Two hours. Right. Two, two hours. hours. But it's a wow. two hours show. It's a two wow. hours show. Okay. So we're going all in. Our tickets are being sold mm. on e-tickets and Anga Anga Cinemax in Diamond Plaza. Diamond Plaza. In Diamond yes. Plaza. Yeah. And you can also follow us on our page Sahas Dance. Sahas Dance. We yes. have all the information over there. Nice. More information nice. is right there. So the tickets actually have gone really fast. We've just got a few left. Uh -huh. So we'd really can, recommend imagine, everybody. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Especially towards the end. I mean, the buzz has been very well. Yeah. Very well. So yeah. I mean, wow, two hundred and fifty dancers. That's that's like huge, man. Right? Yes. Definitely. And two hours musical nonstop. But what's the theme? Fame. What? Well, how did that theme come about? Tell us that. So fame, basically, you know, we 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 came up with the story. Uh -huh. We we love imagining and fantasizing stuff. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and we came up with a very nice story. And um, then the word fame stuck to us. I mean, I, we were reading a book, and it was just fame written, and we we're like, okay. oh yeah, fame, yeah, relates really well. And I think fame has some glamour, some spark to it behind it. You know, so it's like a musical story. And what, yes. what what will the audience expect? when they come for fame i'm i know i'm going to be there yeah, okay. so <laughs> what will i expect on fame you know how so, will you blow my mind so expect apart from the spectacularness of my dancers yeah. and the wowness of the lighting and the sound hmm. it's the story behind it you oh. know it's something really practical yeah. and fame really hits on how we all are you know very busy and uh, all what we don't have is time now yeah, <laughs> with all the money so in the true, world true, true. and that's what fame decides you know it's it's the gratitude that we have for life and towards mm -hmm. life so fame kind of gives you so a moment I need, i need to come with my napkins uh <laughs> no you you it, it's in a nice comical yeah, way but nice. yeah it'll give you a time to just think over and you know love yourself fall in love with yourself again nice <laughs> nice I'm looking forward to that what i mean you know all the best for that Thank and uh, i'm sure it 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 wouldn't have been possible Uh, without a couple of people who have helped you in this would you like oh, to mention no, them no idea. yes I mean, yes apart from mom and dad and the almighty 
Oh, um, apart from, of course, God, who's been, you know, pushed us all the way, and yeah. my parents, yeah. I would um, firstly say my husband. Oh, nice. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, because with my condition, of course, yeah. you know, and um, he, of course, always been there throughout with all the shows whenever we've met, but uh, my husband, Dipen, Dipen Bohil. Yeah. <laughs> He has been, I think, a big strength yeah. to me. I'm glad you didn't call him Deepu. Okay, yeah, this one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. A little bit yeah. me up after this or else. <laughs> no, but he's, I think, he really made me going. I mean, with yeah. my condition, he's just, you know, I, I don't have to think about it. I know yeah. he's there and he's going to do it. So nice, right? Definitely Girl sponsors. Power. Yeah, of course. Totally. <laughs> oh, my. Yeah. A big show of what we've dreamed about to visualize it and then portray it and execute it on stage is yeah. a whole different yeah. idea itself. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and it can't happen without our sponsors. Yeah. So all our sponsors, thank you, thank you so oh my, much you. for your support <laughs> because without you, we, we wouldn't be here. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, you know, I mean, it's amazing. And of course, thanks for supporting these two lovely ladies over here. They've been such hard workers over here. How long has it taken you to put the show together, by the way? Oh, Dulari. <laughs> <laughs> so we started all our practices last year, October. October, okay. So we were there from October, November, December was a break, and now Jan and Feb. Oh. So it's been four months and several, several hours later. So you eat, sleep, drink, dance, dance. Oh, dance. yes. Oh, dance yes. Throughout. Yeah. Dance throughout. Dance wow. throughout. I mean, our students, hmm. you, hats off to you of guys. Of course. Yeah. Hats off to them. All of them, each one of them. Because guys. without our students without their parents we wouldn't have the show again you see it's a collective energy of not just 250 people but their yeah. parents also yeah. so it's around 500 to 600 people all trying nice, together nice. to bring this show awesome so we're looking, we're looking forward to fame and before you leave you know tell me who's your favorite dancer then this is difficult but i'll be biased on also rithik rithik <laughs> yeah that to be <laughs> what about you Look, I, I love Rithik's dancing, but yeah. expressions, like can you beat Ranveer Singh in Kalibali? Okay, his expressions See, are also it's good. not fair. But dancing Rithik is better. <laughs> uh, definitely, yeah, definitely. I mean, expression, yeah. they have their strengths. I, I, yes, definitely. So these, these are the current guys. What about the old school guys? Anybody from there that you admire? Of course, Madhuri. I mean, yeah, she's a legend. classic. And mm. you, you you have to be mesmerized by her yeah. whenever she's... We've got Sri Devi. Uh -huh. I mean, these are the people we you know we've seen and we've grown <laughs> <laughs> to love to love yeah. with. You know, one of my friends told me, ask them which is their favorite form of dancing. Ooh, that's I a love semi-classical. Semi-classical? Yeah, without a doubt, semi-classical. Wow, <laughs> what about you? I... <laughs> I'm very confused. <laughs> Let's start off You're with like, that. You're like, just play the anything else. Ooh, I'll just start moving. Yeah, but I feel like semi-classical is always going to be from where I started. It's always yeah. going to be the love of my life. Yeah. But I feel that recently I love Bollywood dancing. Bollywood, okay. Bollywood that, that the market that, that yeah, chatar ke dar, so good, masala yeah. dar. You're, you're like changing with the time. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> definitely, definitely. Awesome. So we wish you all the best uh, with Thank all this you. stuff. From our sponsors, you know, I know it's your condition, that's why we're not giving you coffee, but we're giving you <laughs> MAC tea. So wow. enjoy that. And, Thank you uh, so much. Have Thank fun. You. Thank you. And we you. wish you all the best and we will see you. Of course, uh, at the show. By the way, we are ending this by saying a big thank you to Toral and Dulari for coming. Uh, not forgetting Mac Coffee, our sponsor. And our venue partner today is uh, Mayura Investments. Do come and check.